Before we came to the United States, I knew just a little bit about it, but not enough to say that you know I was really prepared for maybe the culture shock that I received here. And I think especially when you're that young, you're used to you know your friends, your school, your teachers, and then having to kind of be like uprooted and learn something completely different was kind of tough. So in Zimbabwe, there is no cross. The cross doesn't really exist. I still remember the first day of tryouts. It was kind of rainy, cold on this gigantic field. It was a little muddy. I just fell in love and never turned back. So yeah, it's definitely a little different than a lot of people in the sense that some probably start, you know, at what, six or, you know, elementary school, middle school. But, you know, I picked it up in high school and just kind of ran with it. Teruel is definitely like the most enthusiastic person I know. I remember my freshman year coming into lacrosse, I didn't know anything. Like I was so scared to play lacrosse and I met her and I mean we just like really clicked I would think. If every kid I had had her work ethic my job would be a lot easier. I think she's found it out like she's always thanking us for what we've done for her. But we thank her for what she's done for us because Girls like her is what makes our program so strong. Well, lacrosse has definitely brought a lot of positives into my life, and I think first and foremost, it just made me a lot more confident. I feel like there's an aspect that comes from being an athlete, especially a female athlete, that when you know that you can do something and you feel strong about it, and you feel talented, like it's just this immediate feeling of satisfaction that I'm on this team and I'm helping my team, and I'm surrounded by people who support me and who want to see me succeed, and that really helps in confidence. Um, and it's helped me make more friends than I ever thought I could imagine. When I started the account, I had no idea that I'd even have this many followers. I remember when I got 100, I was so excited. Mom, I have 100 followers. Like, people are favoriting my tweets and stuff. So, you know, just to imagine that now 13,000 people are following me and hearing what I have to say. And, you know, so many girls are following me and tweeting at me and retweeting and all those things. It's just, it's awesome. It feels really good. If I don't believe in what I'm writing then, you know, it shouldn't be out there. If I don't enjoy what I'm putting out, then it shouldn't be out there. I think the ability for me to just be myself and to kind of keep it real is what, you know, made it so that people can trust me and people follow me. I'm Tariro Kandemiri. You may know me as Tari or T, or you may know me as Official Lax Girl. So you should follow me on Twitter at Official Lax Girl. You know, think about why these kids that we're coaching started playing is because they love the sport, because it's fun. And I think even at our level and... and From the state we, of Nevada, passed away of natural causes. Describe that day. It was the worst day of my life. 